coming to the FTJ University, that issue is very, very simple. This government, I don't know why it is so clueless. This government, I don't know why it is like that. Look, this project was first started by President Michael Chirufiasata. When President Michael Chirufiasata started this project, they agreed with the Exim Bank of China to say the Zambian government is going to pay 15% of the money which is supposed to be given to the contractor and then the 85% was supposed to be paid by the Exim Bank. Now, for challenging processes, the Zambian government paid the 15% to the what? To Exim Bank. Now, after the agreement was made between the government and the contractor, the contractor moved on site. Without receiving the money, the contractor moved on site. After moving on site, he began the workings. He started working, the surveyors were there, all the people, the planners, Bambosha could draw a drawer, or now the university would begin looking like and everything. They moved on site. Without the contractor receiving the money. Now, President Edgar Chagwalungu came in when President Sata died, if not mistaken, in 2016 January, when we held the elections, when President Edgar Chagwalungu came in as president. He went to the IMF and said, we want a bailout package. Then the IMF told President Edgar Lungu to say, look, you are still borrowing. How do you want the bailout package from us? So stop borrowing, then we as IMF are going to give you the bailout package. Then President Edgar Lungu had to sit down as a person who was thinking, or is thinking, and said, look, any other project which is below 85% completion should be stopped. The agreement was signed between the Zambian government and the Exim Bank. Now, after the president said, said so, the projects which were less than 85% completion were stopped, including the FTJ University. It was also stopped because of such kind of a decision which President Edgar Chagwalungu made. Now, the contractor came in and said, look, for me, I moved in with my people. There are surveyors who went there. I bought this equipment for me to come up with this foundation. And that is why the contractor said, okay, then give me the money because I hired, I had to hire the surveyors to move on site. The people were planning, drawing up the drawings. I needed to pay all that. So since we are not going to continue with this project, since it is less than 85% completion, what will be happening now is that give me the money I spent, we end the program. The Exim Bank released the 15% which the government did what? De paid to Exim Bank because the government has to think to say, the contractor is one. If we begin saying, no, this money you are going to receive from the Zambian government, this money you are going to receive it from the Exim Bank, it will cause inconsistency and inefficiency. Now, after all that process was made, that money which was paid to the Exim Bank, was released by the Exim Bank to go to the contractor. The contractor got the money and paid the people, such as the surveyors and other people within the site, who managed to plan all those plannings. Now, after all that was made, what this government needs to realize is that the president only suspended, understand me there, suspended the project which were less than 85% completion. What does that mean? It means if this government wishes so, can still go back to Exim Bank and say, we have come to resurface the agreement which were made. It is democracy. You change the government. You can either complete the project. That is why Heroes Stadium and as well as Levi Mwanawasa Stadium were completed by the patriotic flant government because the people started that. Where the MMD government, but the PF government thought it was worth it to complete Hiroz Stadium. It was worth it to complete Levi Mwanawasa Stadium because that is a good project. If the, the government wishes to say they want the FTJ University to be on site, let this government go to Exim Bank and say, we have come to resurface the contract that we signed as a government for you to release the 85% amount of the money which is supposed to be spent on site. Now, Regarding the people who have gone to court or have been taken to police or arrested, 
What you need to know is that they have not been taken there because of stealing. No. They have been taken there because of over invoicing and also other things like making the process, not following the process when doing the project. Now, so, no, 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 Mr. The, Godwin, the, don't the, cut me. Just a minute. Continue. Just yeah. a minute. Don't cut me. Yeah. I want to complete a point. You are going to disturb the listeners. Let me complete the point. When this government now had to do all that, it has arrested those people saying they didn't follow the procedure. Not that they stole the money. The question should be, why hasn't the government arrested the husband to the minister and also other ministers within for not following the process such as the procurement of fertilizer because they never advertised for that tender? That is okay according to them. Zesco had to shortlist the people who are supposed to supply over 40,000 who then pause without following, following the process. One, Zesco has abrogated the ZPPA Act Section 89H and Section 39. Because that act, Zambia Public Procurement Authority Act of 2020, Section 89H and Section 39 has been abrogated, which says, if you are supplying or if you want a supply of the wooden trees or wooden poles like that as an example, you are supposed to give to local authorities provided it is costing more than 1 million US dollars. In that angle, this government or the ZESCO as a quasi government institution will spend 108 million US dollars on what? On those 40 thousand wooden poles. Zesco abrogated that act as a quasi government institution. The ministers didn't follow the procedure when giving the tender. They never advertised for a tender. They didn't follow that process. They have arrested the people over the 33.7 million US dollars because they didn't follow the process. Not that they, they stole the money. No, but there is no case about FTJ, which is in court because those people stole. The issue is that they didn't follow the process. Why hasn't the police or the government taken to court the people at Zesco who have obligated the ZPPA Act? Why hasn't the government taken to court the ministers who have managed, who managed to get a tender minus advertising or following the procedure? So the inconsistency by this government is devastating. They can't be able to apply the law to the former government because they didn't follow the law, the, the procedures. Yet the same government, Zesco hasn't followed the procedure to shortlist those foreign companies. And there is no any, there is no any Zambian or domestic company which would be supplying the, uh, the 40,000 wooden poles. And that is why the Timber Association of Zambia Zambia Manufacturing Association, Zafiko, they have the capacity to supply to the government the same 40,000 wooden poles. And that is why Emmanuel Mwamba yesterday took this issue to the ZPPA for accounting or sitting because one, the ZESCO operations has abrogated the ZPPA Act. Now, um, we have to open the lines. Uh, we have a few minutes uh, to open the line. We just have one minute, so we have to get into uh, uh, the callers. But before we uh, officially open the lines, I want you to defend um, uh, uh, your, uh, uh, your answer that uh, the money is in the Exim Bank. Um, a total of $33.7 million dollars was paid to the contractor China Energy Group Yunnan Electric uh, Power Design Institute Company Zambia Limited in 2018. And uh, this is uh, what Emmanuel Mwamba has to say. Uh, this money was not paid to Exim Bank as counterpart funding as argued by some uh, quarters. Now, there is a summary of payment here. Uh, uh, according to what we have, on 7th March 2018, uh, this company received eight million eight hundred and eight eight thousand four hundred and twenty one. On 29 March 2018, they received eight 
million um, on 27th April. This company received 8 million and uh, on 1st June 2018, uh, this company received 8,861,578.37. In total, it comes to 33 million seven hundred fifty thousand kwacha this is the summary of payment so if you say it is in exim bank and this summary of payment is showing this then who is not no, telling no. the truth uh emmanuel mwamba is right on one angle is wrong on the other side get me right there the agreement was that one the zambian government is going to do what is going to release 15% of the total amount which is supposed to be paid to the project, which is the 3.7 million US dollars. That money was given to Exim Bank. Understand me there. The money was given to the Exim Bank. Now, that is only 15% of the money which was supposed to be spent on the project. The 33.3. Yes, that is the 15%. Understand me there. Get me right there. That 15%. That's why I'm saying Emmanuel Mwamba is right on the other side and is wrong on the other side. Because according to him, he's telling you to say that the 3.7 million is the amount of money which is supposed to be spent on the entire university. No, that is only 15%. And that is why the government paid this money to Exim Bank because Exim Bank was supposed to give 85% of the money which so was no, no, is, not, is, is, is not with Exim Bank. You are yes, it is not with Exim Bank. You are distracted. I want you to understand. I, I want you to be clear yes, because clear. earlier you told us that this money is with now, Exim uh, yeah, Bank. Hey, now wait, I you didn't get me right then. What I said was after this money was given to Exim Bank, President Ed Galungu went to the IMF and said, Look, we want a bailout package. Then the IMF told Ed Galungu to say, since there is, you want a bailout, but you are still borrowing, it means Zambia intended to borrow 85% from Exim Bank for the university. Now, after that, after that uh, borrowing, which was supposed to be made, the government now paid that 3.7 million to Exim Bank because Exim Bank was supposed to pay the rest of the money to the contractor. Now, this contractor already moved on site. After he moved on site, he paid the workers, the surveyors, those people who are making the plannings, and also the resources he spent in order for him to begin completing all those issues. And that is why Exim Bank released the 15% which Zambia had to pay to Exim Bank, which is the 3.7 million. Now, after that, the 3.7 million was released. It was given to the contractor, yes, because that amount was not the full amount which was supposed to be spent on the university. And that is why I'm saying Emmanuel Mamba is right on one angle because according to his summary, he's saying that the 3.7 million is only is the only money which is supposed to be spent for the university to be completed, finished, and everything installed in there. But in order to buy all the desks, boards, to begin buying the computers, to build the laboratories, to build what? That money wasn't even closed because that was only the 15%. Meaning, the contractor has already been paid the 3.7 million. However, the contractor is alive. The government, it wishes the contractor to continue. Let them go to Exim Bank and said, We signed that you are going to give us 85% loan for us to complete the university. Provided this government can go there to, at Exim Bank. They are going to be given the 85% because the contract, the, the contract which they signed is still there. And provided this government wants to go there and resurface all this and tell the contractor to say you can go on site and begin your working. It simply means, it simply means the government itself will have the university which is supposed to be installed as FDJ University. There is nothing, there is nothing arguable there. There is nothing arguable. This is common sense and it is straightforward. Nothing to argue about. The money which has been paid to the contractor is only 15%. Since it is only 15%, the other 85% is at Exim Bank because that is not the money for Zambia. It is the loan which was supposed to be given to Zambia by Exim Bank. 
Now, since that is the money which was supposed to be paid and the contract was signed, however, because of the IMF bailout package which President Lungu wanted, he said all the projects which were which are below 85 completion should be stopped. That simply means including the FTJ University, it was below 85% completion and it was stopped. Exim Bank released the 3.7 million, which is the 15% of Zambian side, to go to the what? To the contractor. And the contractor was paid that money. The contractor was paid that money. If indeed the contractor was paid that money, and the government, which has the contractor to continue, let them go to Exim Bank and say, we have come back to get the loan which we signed. And you can be able to continue with the what? With the, pro the, the project of the FTJ University. It's just common sense. Since it is democracy, the government can go to Exim Bank and get the 85% which remained. Tell the contractor to move on site and begin the constructions. Apart from that, we have had certain projects which other governments have le which other governments left in this country, such as the Levi Manawasa Stadium, Eros Stadium, and other infrastructure development or projects which I cannot be able to mention due to time. But because of that, the PF government came in and said, "Look, the project such as Manawasa, University, Manawasa Stadium, Manawasa uh, Eros Stadium, they are all important." To the nation because they are going to be hosting tournaments. That is why today we let Amba Bola Muiros Mudaba go to win. Let them let Amba Bola Muanawasa Stadium. But if this government, which is the, the PF government, said, "Yo, where is the money? We are not going to complete." The papers and all the documentations are readily available, but the government wants to shift all its insecurities, all its failures on the previous government. Statistically, statistically, there is no issue here. The 15%, which is the 3.7 million, has been paid to the contractor. If the government wants the contractor to continue, let them go to Exim Bank and say, we have come to get the 85%. You've made your point clear. Let's speak calls. 0211290.